What is up, Dylan Pearson here, and welcome to my video on how to create Facebook ads that actually work in 2019. There's a lot that has changed specifically with Facebook advertising over the past couple years, and all the videos I found on YouTube were really outdated, so I'm super excited to share these innovative methods that I'm using to drive profitability and the results that I'm looking for and I'm sure you're looking for also. Before we jump into it, if you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe with notifications on. If you're interested in this type of content, I drop a minimum of two videos per week, always super high quality, and also if you guys could do me the huge favor of hitting the like button and leaving a comment, letting me know what you thought of the video and also what you wanna see next that really helps my channel grow and also lets me know what type of content I should be making to help you out since that this is that's really what this channel is about. So let's jump right into it. How to create Facebook ads that work in 2019. So what working, what is working and what isn't working anymore? So what's not as effective? The first thing is images to cold audiences. Back in 2015 and 2016, you could literally throw up an image of the product, hardly any text, and get sales. Then it, it kind of drove away from that. Then it was images of that look, kind of looked cool, and that could drive sales. Now, images are really tough to drive sales with cold, cold audiences, but there's one exception. If you can create an image that makes people say, wow, makes people want to engage with the image, and also fully explains how the image, like whatever product or service is in the image, is gonna solve a problem for that person, that image might work, but that is far and few in between. So images to cold audiences, it's very rare to find uh, situations where that um, can be profitable and really work. So what else is in this as effective? Videos that just describe a product or service and focus only on the features. Um, so these headphones, for example, if I, I was advertising these and I said, uh, have a detachable microphone um, built with high quality, so like Dolby 7.1 surround sound, uh, can go up to like five decibels, you know, just describe the features, they, that's not gonna work as well. It used to work, but Facebook is smart now. They're, they're, they know that this isn't something that people are gonna naturally engage with. That's gonna result in Facebook feeling forced to show your your advertisement to people. That's gonna result in higher CPMs, higher cost per clicks, and it's gonna be very hard to become profitable just due to the fact that Facebook is charging you a lot and people aren't engaging with it organically. So don't create videos only focusing on features of a product or service. Next thing is copy with offers to cold audiences. So 50% off and free shipping today only is an example, and you see a lot of different variations of this. I've actually seen people nowadays comment on ads that have this saying 50% off with like the laughing emoji, ha, I'm not buying anything from you. You know, it's just become so saturated. And I, I recommend this book right here. It's called Ogilvy on Advertising. And he was one of the really innovators of marketing, I think in the 1940s, 1950s. And he even describes how like offers like this used to work so well back in like that that era because it was new to people. And it's kind of the same thing with Facebook. In like 2015, when advertising started really taking off on Facebook, the 50% off thing was killing it. And you know, 2017, it was free shipping only and, and stuff like that. It can still work if it's presented in the right way, but <clears throat> it's not nearly as effective and sometimes actually drives people away from your product and service. So with that said, now that you know what isn't effective, what is effective? The main thing is engaging videos. And my current favorite is the storytelling format. The reason being is it has a very high organic reach. Facebook loves this. And this isn't just me looking at my data and guessing Facebook loves this. Facebook has publicly said they're placing a focus on organic engagement and reach. The reason being is Facebook has to uh, care about what its its you know its users are seeing and how how well they're enjoying the app. And when people are scrolling through and they get you know put something that they don't want to see, 
Facebook doesn't want to want to show that show them that because it might take them off the app. Face, Facebook wants people to remain on the app as long as possible and really engage with the content. Content. So, storytelling format works great because it feels super natural and organic to the news feed and to what Facebook is really all about. So, storytelling format is my favorite. I'm going to take you into live examples of very successful ads currently running right now using this format. Next up is using personal pages as the advertising company. So at the top of ads, you see usually the company's name, but what is working well is using, is creating like a personal page, like um, maybe like a page called like Sharon Blossom or something like that. Like it, it looks like a, like a person's profile or even using your own profile or like a, a family member's like real profile and advertising under that account. Just because when people are scrolling through, it's not like a company just dropped something on their feed. It's almost like someone, like, you know, a peer shared something to them. So it's just, it's much more likely that they're going to engage naturally and, it, you know, that organic reach is going to go up. So Facebook likes this. Um, next up is landing page is in blog post format. This is what is killing it right now, along with the storytelling format. So, Instead of driving people directly to a product or service offer page, it drives people to what appears as a blog post and it provides maybe tips or tricks or continues on that story and it really provides value first and then it leads into the product and service, but it never tries to sell anything on that page. It's kind of selling subliminally, but it's not directly saying buy this now. It's working very well. I'll also show you examples right after this slide. Of next up is focusing on engaging with customers in the comments. If it's a positive comment, if it's a negative comment, instead of hiding it, uh, marketing is spam, ignoring it, engage in the comments. The more conversations you can start, and I mean conversations like you know, actual thoughtful responses, not just you know, buy this or no, yes, one line sentences, create those conversations. Facebook notices this. And uh, once again, it's going to result in more engagement and you're going to get lower cost per thousand impressions, lower cl or higher click through rates, um, lower cost per clicks, and it's just going to be a lot cheaper, more effective. So basically everything that's working effectively all has to do with pleasing Facebook and pleasing the natural feel of Facebook. Facebook really got hit with a lot of uh crap for you know the leak with the data and how they were sharing user information and stuff so nowadays they place a huge focus on pleasing the user so if you can create stuff that pleases the user facebook will be pleased with you so these are the ways over there to do it under the working effectively column so let's go jump in um to uh how i find examples of these winning like methods and these winning ads so there's really three different ways uh, the first is using a tool, second research, and third is test. The tool that I love is called AdSpy. Um, there's a free trial and it's also affiliate link. So if you, you don't have to, I don't even think I have to put in like a credit card initially, but it's like a 14 day free trial, test it out. And then at the end, I do get like a portion of the commission for that. So just a heads up, um, but I love it. I've been using it and the reason I love it is because it pays for itself with one good ad and one um, new method. So this whole storytelling and blog post format, the reason I know about this is because I found it on AdSpy. So I'm going to take you into my AdSpy account and show you some ads that I found and uh, that are absolutely killing it. Next up is research. So you can find brands that are driving 100,000 plus site visitors per month from the tier one main four countries, United States, Canada, Australia, United Kingdom. The reason being is if they're driving 100,000 plus site visitors per month, they're spending a lot of money on ads and they wouldn't be doing this if they weren't making money, if their ads weren't efficient. So then once you know they're driving 100,000 site visitors per month, you can uh, kind of see what ads they're creating and mimic that, replicate their methods and strategies into your own ads without having to spend that money to find exactly you know what they were doing. So a great way to do is research. Finally, test. You're going to have to do this anyways specifically for your product, but um, testing is a way to find methods that aren't currently being used that have no competition. So maybe instead of directing to a blog post for format, you direct to like a webinar or some sort, or like a class, a free class. And then at the end you pitch your product. So there's just so many different things you can test out. And once you have the budget to do so, I recommend finding these ways because when there's no competition, 
it's uh it's a you know it's just it's you to take all of uh all of those results for yourself so that's how i find my examples of winning ads and these winning methods so let's go ahead and jump into first my ad spy account then we'll go into facebook and look at the ads and then finally i'm going to take you into an ad account i launched today and show you the results i'm getting so here we are in ad spy um, so I actually want to show you like how, how I use this. So I'll just reset this and I, uh, there's so many different filters, but what I want to show you is exactly what I do to find these ads that are, are killing it. So, um, you can do, do all these different filters, but the main things I want to show you is I'm looking for like a minimum of 4,000 likes just because it's an arbitrary number. There's nothing specific about 4,000, but to get the 4,000 likes, you need to spend a reasonable amount of money. So media type, I'm interested in videos. Created between, I, I usually go with like the last 30 to 50 days just because you have to scale pretty quickly to hit that amount of likes and the only way you're scaling is if you're um, generating a profit. Scene between, I would usually do, you know, last seven, eight days. Um, labels, these are like my saved ones. I'll show you the saved ones here next. Um, t -t 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 technologies, I'm interested in people that are directing to Shopify. Countries, I want to see people sending United States traffic. I want English. And then I want sh learn more shop now and get offer. So this is going to find all the ads and then I can sort it by likes and whatever. You can sort it by really anything. So <clears throat> let this load here. And literally this is going to show you like ads with, you know, just an insane amount of organic traffic. So like here's an example of that storytelling format actually. So let's just check out what they're doing. Um, this 100 year old yoga master is still able to do what she loves every day. Staying active, having good friends, wearing heels, and dancing tango, even driving her car. Never let age dictate what you can and cannot do. So let's see what this is. Hey, guess what? It's a storytelling format, and it's killing it. Um, so basically, she like goes through, tells a story. Uh, for some reason, I haven't been able to click later on in the video, but basically what, what these videos do is they go through and tell a story. And what's great about the storytelling format is uh, it's something that people just naturally want to watch. You know, when you look at the content that your friends and family are sharing on Facebook, it's usually almost always a story of some sort. So people that aren't interested in purchasing anything are still going to share this. And what that's going to lead to is the potential for more customers because more people are going to watch it than the organic reach is going to happen. Facebook is probably giving these people an insanely cheap uh, CPM and whatnot. So, um, yeah, so basically it tells a story. And then at the end of the video, it usually like cuts it off at a dramatic point. It's like hit the learn more button to read the rest. So let's go into this ad. So we can see this was launched June 9th. Wow, June 19th. And it scaled the 40,000 likes. These people are making an insane amount of money to scale that quickly. Um, you can see like demographics, what technologies are being used on the pages. So a lot of good information here. So let's hit this learn more button. Look at it, it goes to a blog post format. So uh, written by this person, feel younger and get complete pain relief in as little as 15 minutes. My mom always told me that after you hit your forties, it's, it's a story written by this lady. So, you know, you just read and, and then it explains some stuff, um, kind of like really goes on like stuff people could resonate with, like shooting pain at the base of my st spine. Anyone that has a pain at the base of their spine is going to read the rest of this now. Uh, I hate taking these drugs. Anyone that's taking painkillers and stuff that have side effects, they're going to read the rest of this now. I went to a chiropractor that scared me. Anyone that goes to a chiropractor is going to read the rest of this now. So they're drawing on the emotions of people and telling a story, providing like a valuable, entertaining story to it. And then I discovered the amazing mat that, you know, pain-free young stuff. So they provide a solution at the end and it's still not selling anything. You notice they didn't say, go buy this mat that does this. It says, I discovered this. Still not selling anything at all. Um, talking, you know, continuously going through and stuff about how it helps so much. And then it has check availability. So you click this and what it'll do is go to the page and it'll cover 
the features of the product now. So by the time people get to here, they're emotionally drawn in. And when they click this, it'll go to you know the checkout page. And really money is no object when emotions are running high. Um, not only that, but you're you, drawing on emotions lead to the impulse buy. So I'm sure this company, as I said, the fact that they scaled from zero to 40,000 reactions, 22,000 shares is insane in the matter of just, wow. Like, it, what is it? 20 something days. Uh, so they're killing it. I guarantee a lot of people are spending this $270. I guarantee after you purchase this, they have upsells, post one click upsells, upsells and stuff. So I would bet their average order value is ranging in like the $150 to $300 range. So, um, and I know that these, these acupuncture mats probably only cost like 15, 10 to $15 shipped. So they're killing it. And, uh, that's a perfect example of the storytelling format. So great thing with, um, uh, can I go back to that? The great thing about this is when I find ads, where'd it go? Ads. Anyways, when I find ads like that, you can mark them. And then that way you can mark a label and then you can see the saved ads that like intrigued you. So I saved a couple here. Here's more examples. Nurse recklessness almost cost a life. These storytelling formats, once again, scale pretty quick. It goes to blogged by, it's a blog post, you know, and then goes to the page. And these are converting at an incredibly high rate. And the fact that they're not doing any selling and providing an organic Facebook feel, it's natural to the newsfeed and what Facebook is truly about, um, results in very cheap CPMs and very cheap results. So uh, the storytelling format is killing it right now. Here's another one, 92,000 reactions. Here's another one, 92,000 reactions. Uh, world's old, oldest sprinter banishes back pain, tells a story, goes to the blog post, check for available units. It's the same format, but it's killing it, guys. Um, so yeah, this is what's working very well, is the, uh, the storytelling format, landing pages in the blog post format. And then also, instead of like using the aster, it could be like, Gen something or you know any name use a personal profile and it just feels even more organic then uh, That's that's also working very well so focus on engaging with customers in the comments um, I'm I don't know Yeah, so look at this They're, they are engaging she's true inspiration to us uh, you know just They're engaging with them. So that is huge, too. So the storytelling format is working and AdSpy is a great tool to figure or like to find out what is working. So next up, finding brands that are driving 100,000 plus site visitors per month. Uh, I know one specifically is called Hey Silky Skin. It's a laser hair removal. I see these ads all over. I don't know if they're driving this amount of traffic, but I would be shocked if they aren't. So there's a plugin here. It's called Alexa Traffic Rank. So you just type into Google Alexa Traffic Rank Extension. And uh, let me accept and enable this really quick. There we go. I said Alexa and my Alexa went off. Okay, so look at this. Um, why can I not see it? Okay, for some reason, that that plugin isn't working for me. So maybe I don't recommend it as much as I, I just previously pitched it. But one that works great for me also is Similar Web, And you can just go to the website enter in the domain so here it is and traffic overview total visits this month was 90,000 mainly from the United States United Kingdom Canada uh, you can see they're doing 170,000 visitors and you also got to remember that this doesn't track all of them so they are doing over 100,000 so then what you can do is go copy hey silky skin this is how I, I personally do it and one cool thing is an ad spot you can do advertiser name paste it in and then you'll find all of their ads. You can watch them, see what type of formats they're doing and they wouldn't be running these ads and scaling them. Let's see which one's their best. So yeah, look at this, 20,000 something likes. They wouldn't be doing this if they weren't making a lot of money. So you can kind of replicate what is working. So that's really the best format for ads. Focus on or organic engagement. Instead of focusing on making the sale, focus on creating content that will make everybody want to 
watch the whole video, comment on it, do some type of reaction, like like it, wow, share it, and also like tag a friend and family so they can witness what they just saw. Focus on drawing on emotions. Don't focus on the product. Focus on a, a story that draws on emotions that utilizes the product. And what you'll see that comes along with that is sales. So I launched a new um, store, brand new Pixel, brand new ad account today, just to test this out so I can have an example to show you guys. So I'm gonna refresh this here. This has been live for six hours now. And uh, I've, I've made $320 today off of three sales. So this works and these are cold interest, no data, nothing. So my very, within six hours, $320 in sales just by utilizing this type of strategy. So I'm gonna show you the core, um, like the key performance indicators, the key metrics you should be looking at when it comes to ads to see if your ad is, is something Facebook likes. Main thing is CPM, so your cost per 1,000 impressions. And what you'll see here is I'm getting really good CPMs. And all of these are using the purchase objective. If you haven't yet, I have a free course on my YouTube channel. It's called Facebook Ads Masterclass, zero to $100,000 per month. And I cover exactly how to set up an ad campaign like what I used here. So um, usually with purchase objectives, the majority of like the average people advertising on Facebook are seeing $20 plus, all the way up to 40, $60 CPMs for that purchase objective. Facebook is giving me a $10 cost per thousand impressions. My average overall is $12.32 insanely low because I'm focusing on creating content that's going to make people say, wow, share it with a friend and then like buying just, you know, making sales comes along with it. So I cannot wait to see what the results for this store look like a week from now. I'll probably include that in my next video, but CPM is definitely something you want to be looking at. Next thing you want to look at is your unique click through rate. Don't look at the all click through rate. There's there's another column for all click through rate. That's basically anyone that's clicked on the ad, like click play, click like, click view comments. You want the link click through rate. Um, I'm I'm getting almost a six percent click through rate, and overall of a five percent click through rate. The average for people that I see like really trying to launch new ads when they took cold traffic like this is usually like zero point five percent up to like two point five percent. So once again, I'm getting a very good click through rate just because my tra or because I focus on creating content that makes people want to see more about what I just showed them. And then finally, when you have a low cost per thousand impressions and a high click through rate, what does that equal? Equals a great cost per click, a 20 cent cost per click. And I'm driving qualified purchasers using the purchase objective. The majority of people are seeing a minimum of like a dollar cost per click all the way up to like three dollars cost per click for the purchase objective so the fact that i'm seeing 20 cents um this is going to make it so easy for me to scale this brand new store and i cannot wait till i have my, my data the data i need to really create those valuable look like audiences and stuff um it's going to be good and i'll definitely share the results and some strategies that i use for this with you guys in future videos but Overall, that is how to create Facebook ads at work in 2019. Focus on making Facebook happy, making the person watching the ad engage with it, make it make him want to share it. Um, don't drive them, maybe, maybe don't drive them to a product page right away. Drive them to something that just continues to provide entertainment and value. And once you've really drawn on the motions, price for a product or a service is really not a, not a factor. Um, impulse buys are going to be much much higher and this is this is how to do it nowadays you know the days of just putting up an ad and getting results are done you need to put in the effort you need to make facebook happy make the per, make the user happy and uh the results will come so i hope you guys got a ton of value out of this i was very excited to share these uh this method and these results with you guys once again if you haven't let me know in the comments if you found this valuable also if you have a specific topic you want me to make a video on let me know next. This was actually done by request by some of my subscribers. So I, I, I responded to nearly every comment. I listened to what you guys say. I answered Instagram DMs. So th this channel is for you. Um, and I hope you got the value. So I'll see you guys in the next video. Dylan out.